form. So what separates them from traditional showbiz idols? Hello and welcome to World Inside. I'm Tian Wei. When we think about celebrities, many imagine well-dressed, well-groomed, beautiful, talented elites adored by millions. Their fame only attainable by a select few. But the internet has changed all that. They used to say there's no business like show business, but it seems that the rise of online, self-made, viral celebrities is challenging the traditional fame franchise. China, of course, is no different if you look at these two individuals on our big screen. Two such examples are singer Pang Mailang and also poet Yu Xiuhua. They were both very everyday people here in China. They lacked professional training and the stereotyped glamour factor. Despite that, their video had been viewed by millions and in this country for millions of times. But the question is, are they really talented? Or is there something else which attracts their legion of fans? From zero to hero, Hong Mai Lang became a hot name in China after singing My Skating Shoes, which some see as the most unlikely viral song to surface on the internet last year. My Skating Shoes was nothing like other viral videos, including Little Apple by Chopstick Brothers and Chicken Chicken by One Wrong, both sung and produced by professionals. To the average listener, the song was clearly performed without any professional music training, oftentimes offbeat and in a heavy southern Mandarin dialect. The singer's inspiration, a pair of red skating shoes. I was ice skating on the playground when I heard a wonderful pop song. That's when I decided to write a song about my favorite red skating shoes. My Skating Shoes is a simple song about the story of a young man searching for his dream pair of ice skates. The song, or more to the point, the singer, broke stardom stereotypes of the type of person it took to be famous. It resonated with many of the young migrant workers entering the big cities across China. Meanwhile, in Hubei province, a poverty-stricken, disabled poet called Yu Shuhua celebrated a similar success. Like Pang, Yu had never received professional training, but quickly rose to fame. Her poem, Crossing Big China to Sleep With You, went viral online at the beginning of this year. Crowned by some as China's Emily Dickinson, Yu recently published two poem collections. However, Yu herself has a different perspective on her fame. I hope my life will get better, but I think it's impossible. I went to Beijing once because of my poems, but I'll have to come back and continue to live my ordinary life. Not everyone is a fan of these newly born self-made stars. Many appreciated the insights into a life of hardship in Yu's work, though others have shrugged off the poem's artistic value. Harsher comments were made about Pang's work. A report from state media's China Daily was scathing, describing him as a no-talent, self-hating singer and a disgrace. In recent years, the Chinese internet seems to be fertile ground for self-made celebrities. These stars lack professional training and agents, but represent a fundamental shift in celebrity culture in China. The big question for them now is how to maintain their 15 minutes of fame. Can you do that dance? I think I can. <laughs> Many of the Chinese can also do that. But why is he becoming so famous? Why are we having these grassroots so-called star these days in China? From one of this, we are joined in our Beijing studio by Professor Huang Hangmin from the Tsinghua University School of Journalism. And welcome to our program. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, we have Ms. Liu Qinmin, artistic designer and founder of Qinmin Arts. Welcome to our program, ladies. Um, but first question I want to ask you, um, Ms. Liu, inside uh, San Francisco. I understand you are a fan of the singer who's the uh, <laughs> MV we just watched. <laughs> um, why are you fascinated by him? Uh, why are you interested in even bringing him to yeah. the United States and perform on the West Coast? Yes. 
I'm definitely I'm a Pan Mai Lang's fan, and I think he's a talented artist and has a really unique and incomparable style. He combines different elements into his music um, production, and I see Pan Mai Lang as a really creative and a brave artist. And as a new generation artist, we always desire to make something new, and we want to collaborate with more artists. And that's my desire, and that's my mission. So to collaborate <laughs> with. In a way, and he never touched it before. I I think that would be really interesting for the audience, right. and it, it, it and it will challenge the picture of how audience to view what's the art. Well, yeah, I think that would be really. I think any um, kind of art or any kind of behavior too. can challenge one's concept about what is art. We can always make that question once and again, but. What about the other point? I mean, yes. uh, Ms. Yu, probably, Professor, you are more familiar with uh, she has suffered certain kinds of diseases according to her yeah. commercial promoting of material, mm -hmm. which has been quite popular on WeChat, China, social media. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, her poem has been quite daring, even when it comes to the headlines and the right. topic. Right. Uh, what do you think? Why is she an overnight sensation now? Well, actually, I read some of her poems, and I think her uh, words uh, in her poems are really attractive. So those are the words with intelligence. And also, I would say, on the other way, uh, he, she is very successful in uh, having very good uh, marketing strategy. Mm. And one of his uh, most famous poems, for example, is uh, with a title, uh, Attracting People's Eyeball. So uh, I think with a combination of uh, her very good attractive content uh, and that good That title strategy. is called, uh, just for our international viewers' uh, <laughs> reference, I Crossed the Whole Country in Order to Quote Unquote Sleep with Your Point. Right, That's right. a very sensational title. <laughs> Uh, of course, she was just also to play with that title yes. as the poet. Yeah. But on the other hand, do you think, Professor, mm -hmm. these are really 15-minute celebrities? Or actually, there are certain things in them that yeah. has really attracted so many uh -huh. intellectual ones, such as uh, Miss Liu in San Francisco. <laughs> Well, to be frank, I think in the former case, uh, Mr. Pang Mai La, I, I am afraid that he might be that 15 minutes celebrity because he's obviously a young people who is lost in conf conflicting, uh, conflicting kind of identities uh, of himself and identity uh, imposed by the media mm -hmm. and by the public. Uh, in the later case, uh, in that issue, Hua, the point, I think she might have more things to sustain. All right. I saw already Miss Liu had a long sigh. Obviously, does not necessarily agree with you, Professor, because her <laughs> idol, obviously, is that singer instead of the point. So, Miss Liu, what do you think about the argument coming from uh, Professor Hong? Um, actually, I really thanks for the comments. Uh, so what you guys mentioned about the 15 celebrities, actually for nowadays, I think it's shorter than 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the development of technology, right. we, yeah, all the young people, they spend uh, more than eight hours on their phones. They share their ideas and express their opinions in the website. So, so there's like more questions about not only uh, about the, the 15 minutes ce celebrity, it's about what's the story behind the artist and why she, why she or he become really famous in this society. What do you think? What about these two cases we've yeah, just mentioned? So I think mentioned? that's um, more important. And, and tell us what are the answers toward these questions that you just asked. The singer, first of all, if you can just give me a few sentences yeah. to explain his fame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the Pamai Lang. Yeah, so definitely I think uh, Pamela is a really good rep rep representation of our new image of China. Which is? And I think Pamela has been through so many things. A new so image of China, which is what? Even know. A new and image about China, which is what? Which is a new generation. The new, the new generation has a new power. They want to make a new wave and to change the vision of how people view art. And art can be fun. Okay. And it's not about serious old Chinese story, it can be really abstract and it can be funny. So I, I think that's the thing why um, the young artists, they're trying to challenge the picture of the, the traditional art image. But don't you think that being quote unquote funny and fun 
has always been the common language of uh, the internet age, for example, about social media age. And many we've seen around the world, well, no, around the world are also 50 million celebrities. They rise and they disappear immediately, all at the same time. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, Ms. from Liu. my yeah. perspective, I. Oh, sorry, Miss Liu, go ahead. Yeah, from my perspective, I. Yeah, okay, thank you. So I believe, as the successful artists, they have to keep doing their own styles. It's not about just 15 minutes. They have to practice so many times in their small, tiny room behind the scene for decades. Mm. So I think that's a story we, we need to appreciate. We need to give the respect. Right, but on the other hand, Professor Hong, are these two individuals likely to become media hype babes and yet being forgotten almost immediately? As we all know, how this internet age is picking up sensations and throwing them away. Yeah, yeah, I agree that it, it probably it's not 15 minutes and it would be 15 days, but it would be very soon that there will be some more people, new people joining, and then we will change another picture. But on the soon. other hand, do you think there are anything unique about these two individuals that really open people's eyes? Uh, not necessarily only because they are coming from so-called not the most favorable conditions and environment mm -hmm. here in China, and yet they managed to grow and they managed mm -hmm. to be professional in yeah. their own way and managed to have their own, uh, you know, uh, way of entertaining the public. Yeah. But also, what? What's on them? What's yes. about them that the others are lack of? Yes, yes, I understand. I know you, you like the poise, so maybe you can use the poise of <laughs> example of the poise. I think there is something uh, uh, similar in uh, two of them. Uh, that both of them are actually uh, very much against uh, uh, the uh, what we say the the the, the common p uh, uh, culture. And so called the establishment. Yeah, the mainstream so -called culture. That's true, that's true. And uh, they have their own identity, which is very, very, very new. And they are challenging the old tradition. And they are challenging the established stereotype of mm. what, who should be the poem and who, who should be the pop star. And this is why people like them. I think this is also an explanation of why they are so popular at the current time. Mm. But on the other hand, Ms. Liu, people seem to pick up the so-called uniqueness, if I could use a very complimentary word about mm -hmm. these two individuals. But on the other hand, there are so many other individuals that are talented in our society. We are all aware of this. Mm -hmm. Is the success of these two individuals necessarily going to mean that there is better social mobility when it comes to selecting talent? when it comes to talent showing their own wisdom to the rest of the world, is it really better? Or actually, this is only a mirage mm -hmm. that we are seeing as a result of commercial operations. Ms. Liu. Yeah, I think that definitely um, those two success, it's maybe behind the strategy of the market. But I... I don't think we haven't seen this kind of arts before because at the at may, 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 maybe ten years ago people always um, didn't have like enough uh, knowledge or they're not really appreciated art. But nowadays people start to support art and they're really active to leave their uh, suggestions and, and a comment on all the art productions. So I think the time is changed. And uh, we sh and uh, use the social media is is a tool right. for artists and for the celebrity to express their ideas. Well, yes. let a hundred flowers blossom. That's certainly great when it comes to arts. But obviously, inside arts, there are also different kinds of tastes. There's so-called better art. There's also so-called popular art. Mm -hmm. uh, so, m Professor Hang, before we go, mm -hmm. I certainly want to help us to understand. Mm -hmm. Are these two really showing us the social mobility that we have these days in our society in terms of finding the talent? Mm -hmm. What really they're just, as I questioned earlier, mm -hmm. a mirage. Mm -hmm. They're just one of the very, very big group of people, and yet only the two of them pop up. In fact, we have not found many 
of the others. Yeah, uh, uh, as I said at the very beginning, they may be the 15 minutes celebrity, but I should agree that it's better to have more of 15 minutes celebrity than only having uh, one uh, like 15 years celebrity. Mm -hmm. So more people would have more opportunity to expose to the public to get their voice heard. So this is uh, uh, also the, re the reflection of you, what you said, the new social mobility and we see uh, the emergence of the new media right. creating new platforms so those people's voice the grassroots people's voice will be heard more well, and more. Yes. I guess I will go out today and do a video of my own maybe I could become this uh, 15 minutes or at least 50 second sensation on TV anyway <laughs> yesterday I was challenged about whether I'm going to run a marathon today is uh, about the music video but thank you so <laughs> much for the two of you for joining us on this wonderful discussion Liu Qinmin inside San Francisco and also Hang Min here in Beijing with us. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank, Thank you for being with us. And that is all the time we have for today. We'd like to know what you think about anything you've just seen on our program, the two debates, and also our media review. You can email us your thoughts at worldinside at cctv.com. I'm Tian Wei from myself and the World Inside team. Thanks for watching and join us again tomorrow for more global perspectives and stories from across China and around the world. Good night. Thank you.